All right, welcome back to Starcom Nexus. We have fate for feedback. You ain't getting no feedback. All right, so I've upgraded my ship a little bit. I've got two reactors here, three reactors back here, three engines, two engines, and a whole bunch of guns, scanner, control module. So you can see all the weapons firing. I have maxed out my ship. Oh, see what this guy has for trade. All right, let's offer him improved engines. Technology information from Fry's Muse for enhancements. I'm not sure what to make this transmission. It appears to be a collection of complex theorems, but our computer reports subtle contractions in them. Perhaps the Verna use different axioms than we do. So they didn't give us anything. Oh, sorry about that there. Now, one of these planets, this one over here, we found some information from a story from somebody. So let's go back down on this one. We are right up here in this corner. This is the one we kept doing the uh, the passwords. And say, even from how to server team could see what structure was a citadel structure from the broken hulks of ancient starships. <clears throat> a few of the large guns trained on the landers that touched down a few kilometers away. An intercom by an inset door chitters as a team approaches it. It translates as, welcome to Equate Citadel. What is the password? And somebody told us this. The intercom speed twice. And the wicked door slides open. A heavily armed sentinel drone appears and collects the team's weapons. It gives them a small voucher. The inside of the citadel is less impressive than its exterior. Hundreds of old star hundreds of old starships have been converted into makeshift stores and residences. Aliens of various unrecognized races perk curiously at the team, but close their doors on approach. In the center of the bazaar, a large command module functions as an, as an administrative center. What appears to be a Chinook beacon. This team inside. Oh, the Citadel. Achievement unlock. Welcome to Intard Citadel, where all are free to trade with her agents. Shall I connect you with our resource trading system, or are you interested in some of our unique items? What unique items do you have? Oh, look at this. Ornament boxes. All this is titanium. Our unrivaled collection of rare artifacts is available to our most distinguished patrons. So, we're going to have to come back here for this stuff. So, let's get us a turret mount for right now. <clears throat> The turn's recovery coil contains a device that uses both Steen's condens to solve the problem of plasma recapture. This may unlock a new plasma technology for us. Sweet. Oh, we got another one. Unusual crystal shard. Our unrivaled collection rare artifacts. We're all set for that. Alright, we wish to trade resources. They want titanium and we can get stuff. Awesome. Oh, they got a bunch of stuff. And our last question. I understand. We are Chittick Tuck, not part of the Chittick Empire or its hive beliefs. Your dispute with Chittick Empire are of no interest to me. Cool. Let's return to the ship. So, we can buy more stuff there. That's good to know. We just need titanium and I've been harvesting this system for titanium, but hopefully we find a better place for it. But until then, let's continue on our journey. Uh, let's set a coordination back down here and then we'll fly southwest. Uh, 
let's see. We'd like to trade with you. Look at that gold. So let's get this antimantium. Let's get some of that. Why is this going up? What's happening? Let's get 90 here. How about 56 of them? Cobalt, cobalt. We need cobalt. We don't really need platinum. Antimant titanium we don't really need. Platinum, I guess we could use some some titanium. So let's get a uh, 200. There we go. Get us a few stuff. Bam. Pretty much bought them out with gold. And we'll be on our way. Thank you very much. Their ships are still bigger than mine. Oh, we got a star up there. Orange main sequence. Interesting. Because we've been to this stuff up here. That was a orange main sequence. So that's another one. Okay. We're definitely going to have to go explore that one. But first, let's go see this green star. Ooh, lots of enemies here. Lots of enemies. Green star. Done. Oh, uh, Chidic. Okay, it's one down. Two down. Got you down. You got some of this. Yeah, we're just tanking all this stuff for my new build. Anybody else? Oh yeah, come on, fly right up in here. Thank you. Make quick work of them. Ooh, the big boy. Let's see how much quick work we can make of this guy. No, you don't need to fly away. Done. Oh yeah, we're making quick work of them. Oh, and we got a probe. Come on back. Come on back. Bam. Uh, propaganda probe. This probe has spent the past decade recording audio-visual broadcasts from a planet. Unfortunately, it's most political propaganda and forged what looks like a golden boot. Green main sequence. The Great Skull. Have we been here? We might have been here. Survey complete. So that means we need to go south to this area. So let's head on south. After we've made short work of them, what's our resource sources looking like? Still don't have 55 antimantium. How fast are we going? 80, 90, 100. I feel like we need more speed. 170. What could that beacon be? That is the question at hand. Ooh, we got a question here. All right, let's scan this bad boy. No anomalies detected. In cool waters, we saw you again. Our story was at a turning. Uh, let's do things for knowledge. Nothing available. Okay. Things for things. You want platinum. I don't want to give up platinum. Or do I? What is platinum used for? Module uses. No, no module. Okay, so since we don't... Let's go ahead and buy 12 of these. I don't really know what I want. So we're not going to do nothing. And it looks like we have a wormhole here. And an orange star. Let's scan it. And get down there. The architecture of these rooms is immediately recognizable as that of the servants of the fallen gods. The team previously encountered a careful shifting through the rooms revealed that the hidden redoubt was reached by sailing due west from Typhoon. Given the context, it seems likely that this cultural interception of celestial navigation, but no clue given to where or what Typhoon is. Temple of the Fallen Gods. So there's something out there. 
But we're not going there yet. We're going to this planet. Let's see what this planet has to offer us. All right, Class R. No anomalies detected. Now we'll head to whatever this beacon is on our map. Does it tell us? It does not tell us. So we'll just head on over. Ooh, it's a little spaceship. All right, analysis of this autonomous probe shows that it was designed to detect and collect data on rare comets. Not only does it have significant amount of valuable data, its sensors designed us to research a technology that should aid in locating these elusive objects. Nice. Can I shoot it? I did shoot it. Got nothing. But we have a jump off point. Oh, look at that. Let's go up here to the orange main sequence. Or to the shallow dwarf. Yellow dwarf's closer. Let's go. Matter of fact, skip all that. Let's take the wormhole. No, yellow dwarf, yellow dwarf. I made up my mind. We know there's a wormhole there, so we must see where it goes. Okay, maybe I haven't made up my mind. Here we are. Oh, overshot it. And down. Okay, that's good. Ooh, channel open. Greetings, entity. This is Sentinel. Do not be alarmed. This is a standard entry control parameter check. Please stand by for scans. Scans in process. NTD identification parameter missing. I'm not sure if you're asking question reporting error. I am Tick. Who are you? Alright, we are humans. We come in peace. Who are you? Scan 33. Entity source region identifier missing. We are from a very distant galaxy. We are brought here by a written space. Timestamp offset missing. That's a surprisingly precise scan. What have you learned? It's about two story. <laughs> scan complete. Tension entity, your ship is in violation of Directive 2 and 3. Please exit the craft immediately and leave any technologies behind. Wait, what are Directives 2 and 3? Are you serious? You want to fight me? I'll fight you. I mean... You want some of this? We'll go head to head with you. Now we're gonna scan this planet. A discovery Freelome. Trace amounts of Freelome are detectable in the upper atmosphere of this giant. I believe this is the first time it has been found to occur naturally. Okay. Let's uh let's hit the star up. There is another wormhole in this sector. Alright, nothing for the star. Let's hit up the northeast corner right after we destroy this guy who wants to be our enemy hey there buddy boom I ram you what you think about that don't run don't run we've got some stuff to do with you okay there's a planet right here so let's go do that one all right, no anomalies. Moving on. We're going to go down here, south, north, and then west. And then if we find any more robots, we will take care of them. Ooh, we got something. What do we got? It's another swarm probe that seems to have crash landed on this icy planet. Fortunately, it seems that the snow cushioned the impact enough that its data banks are mostly intact. They mostly consist of celestial survey data, but the team manages to recover a modicum of valuable information. How much resource points do we got? 1100. Ooh, that should buy us some good stuff. When I was uh, mining for all my ship parts, I was getting a lot of discoveries like drill bits, some glass, holes in the rocks. No anomalies? Alright, let's move it on. My crew members keep getting killed in action. They need to quit. There it is. A little bit farther. Alright, so question is, should we head back or should we keep going? Let's see where this next jump takes us. 
And then after that, we'll head back. We'll do some research. Okay. Takes us over here. Give me that cargo. Oh, channel open. We would be light and make another exchange of knowledge. Okay. How about some high energy bolts? Okay, I'm not sure what to make of this transmission. It appears to be a collection of complex theorems, but our computer reports due to contractions in them. Perhaps they're going to use different atoms than we do. Thank you, Ari. Ari, have excellent understanding of these principles and this technology information provides useful enhancements. We now should sum up our arm progress. Do we trade goods? No, thank you. I'm just dealing with some people over here. Bam. Oh, gosh. So come out quick. What are you? Sentinel Scout. The laser beam. Thank you. Got your junk. And we're going to scan this planet and see what they got for us. They keep giving us technology. Ooh, 16 gold. This region of the planet was, was once a Lillian plain before the dying sun baked this planet in its last stores. Scattered among the rocks of the dry bed are a few loose nodules of gold. Oh, that is a bright sun. Uh, pair instability. Readings on this star show that it is about to go supernova. We've never observed a star so close to this stage before. This really is interesting. I should mention that by about to, I mean sometime in the next 8,000 years. Oh. Scan this planet. We got some debris down there. And a survey. As recently as 3,000 years ago, this planet supported life. Now, even with extreme environment control, the survey team can only spend a few hours on the surface. During the final centuries, this dying civilization lived in cities built within the shade of artificial craters. Records are sparse, but on the lower level, the team finds fragments of a religious tract preserved in mud, which translates as, we're not gods, but devils. Do not pray for them for salvation. It was they who imprisoned their children here. A burning prison guarded by silver angels who could strike down any who rose up with their fiery red swords. Any salvation we must make ourselves. The Daughters and Sons of the Dawn. There may be more, but the team needs to return the ship to recharge their lander's liquid helium supply. Alright, let's go back down. Uh, scans are buried with use dump on Kuron. Optical drive that still has recoverable data on it. Summary for the Chancellor of We Come a Long Way. It's true, but I'm afraid. Made the locks too hard to pick. Every year it gets a little hotter and harder to cool the array. By the time our children are running it, I'll be trying half as many keys as today. And the odds we find it in time are about 1 in 5,000. More investigation is possible, so let's go down. Ooh, discovery data crystal. The crystal has collection of Starcom technical data and some kind of mathematical formula. Sweet. Parts of what appeared to be, oh, I've analyzed the algorithm. I can't tell exactly what it does, but it involves solving a graph I mess up for problem. If I had to guess, I'd say it relates to encrypting a neural network. Parts of what appeared to be an academic paper were preserved in glass in an underground archive. It's a shame we're losing so much of our history. Every spare cycle goes to cracking the Sentinel's code. I know it's our only chance, but it used to be when a stack failed, we lost the backup. Now it's the original. There's so much knowledge loss. We know that our ancestors choose to imprison themselves here, but what no longer well, we no longer remember why. The archive contains some of the civilization's artifacts as well as a data crystal prominently displayed in a glass case. The team leader thinks they may have exhausted the location where records might be have been preserved. So we've got the data crystal. And our survey is complete. 
So it took us a little bit. What is this? Uh, we got gold, gold, titanium. Is this just regular rocks? Gold. Yep. All right. So let's take a look at our map. Um, we got one more question mark up here, and then we're going to head back and do some research. We got a whole lot of research this time. Class D planet, no surface anomalies. We are. Now, every time I go back to my home base, I'm getting swarmed by them, whatever they are. Gosh, look how far we've gone. Getting swarmed by the uh, the Red Goose people. It looks like there'll only be one this time. Oh. Okay. Station took care of it. All right. Deck three near hydroponics stimuli closed due to hole damage. Oh, that's not good. Reminder, wagering of food rations credit is against Starcam <laughs> regulations. Wager. Commodore Price will be given an update on all major developments at 0700, followed by a brief Q&A. Kite Station welcomes... All right, we read that one. Tick, I want to talk to you about the Sentinels you encountered. Do you have any idea what caused them to become hostile? No, they claim to be running some kind of scan, and as soon as it was done, they did... Landed, we abandoned ship. Sounds like they're more technology advanced than the Chittick. How worried should we be? We can outgun them. They have weak points. I hope you're right. I'll have our tactics teams review your battle logs in case they come knocking over here. Better get Eliminator ready. Or combat ready. Anything else? Yes, we need crew. There we go, right out of training. Morale. And that looks like that's it for her. Ooh. In light of your recent encounter with the Sentinels and other hostiles, both research and engineering agree that we're not prepared for a serious attack on the station. Lieutenant Chang has drawn up plans for some station modifications. But we've already scrapped some redundant systems, but we still need you to bring in some resources. 200 titanium, 50 neutronium. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to research armor modules. That help protect our critical systems. Well, I wanted to surprise you with a battle cruiser for your birthday, but I already went and got all that. You certainly know how to make a Commodore happy. Well done. Was there anything else? That's all for now. All right, research. Nope, not yet. What about them? Potteries? Nope, nothing. What can I help you with? That's all for now. So, let's take a look at my ship. So I got one, two, three, four, five reactors. A uh, habitat module. Three, four, five thrusters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine guns. That's looking, looking good. So we still can't do some of them because we need missiles, tech missing missiles, missiles. That's all we're missing. Ooh, Antimant 7 and missiles. Okay. Let's uh, cancel. Let's go to research. Now you know we got to keep the ship getting bigger and bigger. So let's do Galaxy Class. Clouds up to the ship of 36 modules. Oh, I'm researching. There we go. We can get bigger ships now. Um, anything else for deep space boost? Let's go ahead and do that. Good. Nothing there. Weapons. Weapons is something we really need. Here we go. Increased damage of each plasma. Bam. Um, I don't really care about Havoc defense. We got the coils. Plasma venting. Make them shoot faster. Maximum accuracy not cared about. Increase the range of our turrets. I don't care about that. So let's do field alignment. Range would really help. And then range. 
and range so we're going to be working on range next and we are done all that research points are gone and eventually we need to get that right there reactor energy but right now we're doing pretty good on reactor energy all this is still good any special projects <gasps> Ooh, comet detection okay that's something we need to learn so that's it for today thanks for joining me you don't really have enough for anything else we're missing titanium to make our ship bigger but until then y'all take care